Hello, hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Martina and today I would like to share with you a super fun project. Uh, I'm very excited about this and it's going to be making mini junk journals, very easy and very fun, uh, out of postcard. Uh, this is what I am going to be using. I'm going to be using those flower fairies postcards i got them on amazon uh, there's a hundred of them here and i will show you uh, how they look in just a second so this is what i'm going to be using for the covers however if you don't have postcards or like a greeting card something like that you can absolutely use a uh, scrapbooking paper, you can use cardstock, you can use anything really um, that you have on hand. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to show you my technique. So uh, just very quickly what I have here is of course the postcards. I have this cotton fabric which I tea dyed a long time ago and I'm going to be using as a kind of like a spine to join two postcards to create the front and back cover. I also have my trusty box with all of my papers, small, not all of my <laughs> paper scraps, I wish, <laughs> uh, but my smaller paper scraps, which I keep here uh, near me uh, every time I craft. And I also have some larger scraps and these are from my vintage rose collage sheets, uh, which you can get in my Etsy store. And I thought maybe uh, I would use some of them to decorate the inside. We will see. So let's look at those postcards and let's choose our covers. Now I am going to be making five of those. Yes, five of those. Um, but perhaps, you know, I'm, I'm going to just show you guys one or two and uh, we are going to... Uh, we are going to uh, do the other ones. Uh, I'm going to do the other ones off camera. That's what I'm trying to say. So just look at those, you guys. And they are such a nice quality, thick. Um, you can actually, you know, send them and you get a hundred of them. So if you like flower fairies, if you perhaps would like to make a flower fairy, I love this Christmas one, uh, flower fairy journal, then I think they are great because they are so awesome for like journaling cards. You can just collage on the back a little bit add maybe some some bits and pieces here and there where it, there is like um, a little bit of spare um, place but i mean they are just gorgeous and yeah you get so many of them so so many of the oh i love this one so many of them i would definitely not be able to um to use them all for the journals the fairy journals that i am currently working on but look at those you guys yeah just stunning oh this one <laughs> these two are one of my favorite images really love them a lavender yeah so i'm going to pick two oh forget me not fairy this is the one that i have on the cover of my own junk journal so i'm going to just pick two uh, cards and honestly i don't know how to pick so maybe i'm just going to uh to pick them randomly this one is really gorgeous I love these alphabet stickers too, really pretty. Okay, so I think I'm going to just, to just pick, so let's see, which one do I love? Um, which one do I love? Which ones don't I love? So I'm just not, probably not going to pick ones which have a lot of like, focal image on 
on the side because this is where I'm going to be putting my piece of fabric which is going to connect the front and back cover so I would not like to cover it but I'm thinking yeah so like this one I think would be a really nice back cover because this I I could cover I think and maybe this I love this one yeah, I think they, they work really nice together. So let's pick those. And like I said, I got them on Amazon. They weren't that expensive, um, you know, for the amount, for the amount of, uh, of postcards and beautiful, beautiful postcards that you get. Okay. So here is this, uh, my front cover, my back cover. This is this side and this side is where I'm going to join them. And I'm just thinking, do I want to, I think I want to collage this side first, the back side. The, oops, excuse me. That's my buttons on my desk. Um, so yeah, so I would like to collage the inside first and then we will add our fabric and then of course pages and a little bit of decoration. So I hope you guys will join me. I hope you will join me. I think this will be a fun, fun little project. Perhaps more than one video, maybe two, two parts, because I would like to decorate them as well. So once again, these are from my shop. They are the digital, uh, digital collage sheets Vintage Rose. And the ruler that I'm using here is um, from Amazon and it is from a brand uh, Joy Crafts Joy exclamation mark crafts so let me just pick maybe two pieces now with these um, because I printed them on very thin paper maybe I will actually use pieces from these two because not sure if you guys can see uh, but there is like when I glue them down I will still be able to see the lines and whatnot so perhaps actually I will use these these are printed on thicker paper on a matte photo paper actually so I think they will be better for this and the thinner one is just regular copy paper, um, but just a bit thinner. So 60, 60 GSM instead of 80. Okay, so I love this here. And then maybe this piece. For the other one. So this is the back. Yes, it is. Front and back. And now the rest, I believe I will just add some of my regular paper scraps. So let's see, some book page could definitely work. What else do we have? Ooh, some Edith Holden. Always great. Let me, maybe this piece actually. So let me tear it. So how are you guys? How is everyone? How is your week going so far? Mine's going really well. Uh, I 
I am I am a bit busy with a lot of different different things at the moment but everything is just um, just you know things that I love <laughs> creative things so that's okay So I'm probably, most probably, going to cover the inside here, the inside, yeah, in between my, my covers with some fabric or lace or something like that as well. That's why I'm not worried if I have a little bit of gap here. Mm. Let's see. Let's see what else could we could we add. How about I oh, really like it. Uh, this I believe is a tiny piece of one of uh, vintage ledger printables from Lorna. Taylor made the journals. Okay, and I think I have, yes, I do have another piece which could go here. <clears throat> so let's do this. Awesome. Great. So these I can put back, this goes to the bin, and let's get to inking. Oh, there is one more straight edge. <laughs> that can't be. Okay. Actually, think I'm only going to ink those pieces on top, and this big piece is covered on all sides anyway. So we've had a strange weather <laughs> here in Poland. Um, first, for the past maybe a week we've had a lot of snow so it was kind of wintry um, which you know when there is a lot of snow and it's quite cold so it's not melting over the day and uh, it's sunny it's awesome it's beautiful even if it's cold I mean the sun just gives me energy and that's great however I think yesterday, yeah, I think yesterday the weather really uh, went for worse, <laughs> uh, which is now it's not cold at all. It's about zero. So this is this temperature, which is not super great um, in winter because everything is melting during the day. But then there is a little bit of frost at night. Mm. Okay, so for this I think I will use my wet glue. Uh, so there is a little bit of frost at night. Uh, and then so everything that melted during the day freezes and becomes ice. <laughs> so when we went on our walk today, excuse me, I just need to this these glues are quite wet when I open them, even when I shake them really well. So you always need to add some to a tissue or something like that first. So when we went uh, for our walk today. It's also very cloudy, gloomy. Let's, let's just call it gloomy. Um, yeah, there was a lot of ice. <laughs> 
and oh no I'm not a fan of well I am a fan of this glue look what's going on here uh, but just not in this um, tube I, have, I used to have it in a different tube and I never had problems like this one that would just be super wet and kind of watery. I don't know. Maybe there is a different formula in this one. But as soon as I... I've ordered about 40 of these. So as soon as I, I run out. And it shouldn't be that long. Because I've had them for a while and... Oh, look at this you guys now this should not be this should not be happening with this glue okay you know what I'm going to grab grab a glue stick I think I would prefer glue stick because I really don't want to warp those those postcards since they are supposed to be my journal covers okay so here I have a glue stick and let's see <clears throat> excuse me let's put this one first so yeah so we went on a walk and it, there was a lot of ice so and from what I've seen from weather fo forecasts, we are supposed to have weather like this for over a week at least. So we will see. Maybe it will all melt. Because right now it's very wet. And, um, you know, trying to walk a dog in a weather like this is a it's an adventure because some of the water like pools when the, the snow melts are bigger than my chihuahua <laughs> so that's an adventure for sure okay But I'm grateful it's not raining <clears throat> because with just snow and yeah, melting snow we can still take our daily walks. Okay, I love it. Very simple but very pretty, I think. How is the weather where you are? Do you have, um, for you guys in the Northern Hemisphere, do you have a snowy winter? Or is it kind of like he in Poland? And for those of you from the Southern Hemisphere, how is your summer? I hope it's not too hot. I hope it's just right. Just right. <laughs> So I am making these little notebooks as uh, freebies for um, for my customers who who will purchase my fairy journals, and I will have the flip through of fairy journals for you guys on Friday, and if I have any left, I will list them on Saturday. And I will give you all the details uh, in that video on Friday if you are interested in purchasing uh, one. But um, one of the uh, like the benefits of my Iris tier on Patreon is that uh, my patrons will have on this tier will have the 
kind of that I will offer them the journals first and if they want to buy them then they can do it before they go on my Etsy shop and if they decide not to then the remaining journals will go to my Etsy shop so that's what I'm going to be offering them today okay so what I want to do is I just want to take my scissors and clean those edges and then perhaps add maybe some gold something something like that maybe I will go add gold later when when I've joined them with fabric because there's no point in adding uh, gold or inking where I'm going to be covering it up, right? Okay. Awesome. So, once again, let's make sure front cover, back cover, I'm going to link them here. Let's open this up. Or actually, no, not this way. I want to do this side first. And I think I'm going to leave a little bit of gap. Um, like maybe, what is it, a quarter of an inch perhaps, about five millimeters. Because I would like um, my signature to kind of sit here so that like if I made them this way, um, I wouldn't be able to make a nice thick signature for this, for this journal. Oh, I didn't tell you guys. Just in case you would like to know the measurements of those, I suppose all postcards are, are similar measurements. It is 15, yeah, it's about 15 by 10 centimeters, so 6 by 4, 4 by 6 inches. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to tear a piece of this, of this fabric enough that I can cover the, the space and also enough that I can have it um, comfortably on, on here. Okay, just a lot of loose threads here, so let me get rid of them. Okay. And yeah, let me see. So this, <clears throat> maybe I will make it a little bit uh, longer, uh, just just for fun and then the way I do it is I cut a little bit and the rest I tear and it tears very easily if you just make this little cut first okay let's see yeah it's perfect and if I want I can trim it later so I am going to put those where I want them and I'm actually considering just to be on the safe side to maybe washi tape them in place. Washi tape should not hurt should not hurt them. So I will just add a little bit on those corners here to keep it in place so that then I don't have to worry. Mm -hmm. And I am going to be using my wet glue this time. Is this even? I'm kind of looking at, at the camera right now because you guys can see it exactly from no, this won't do. What's going on with this glue? Why is it so uh, watery? Like I need, I think I need to shake it a little bit more because this just won't do. Yeah, now I move the 
is okay. Let me make sure once more that that's where I want it. Hmm. Still not great. I don't know what's going on with this glue. I really loved this other version and I hope they still make it. Mm -hmm. So as always I am using my finger to smoosh it but also to take off the excess because I don't uh, need too much glue uh, otherwise it would sip it would sip through the fabric, maybe this side up. I'm trying to be even-ish. I think that's going to be good. And then I am also going to go over it with my sewing machine to make sure it stays in place. But I think just glue would, would also suffice, so, so that not, that's not necessary. Okay, let's see how it looks on this side. Nice. So, what would I like on on this side? Would I perhaps like a piece of lace? Let's let's see if I have something here. I have maybe this piece of lace, like an eyelet lace, and I could add it here. To, so what this is going to do, it's, it's going to give me additional decoration for the inside and it also is going to strengthen the whole kind of construction of the cover a little bit more. But this time, so I think I'm going to go with this lace, I like it, but this time I'm kind of going to cut it more, more to size, you know. No particular reason for that <laughs> and just I think it's it's going to look better if we have just one thing kind of sticking out yeah and going to do the exact same thing just I will add a bit less glue because this piece of lace is thinner narrower that's the word narrower <clears throat> And yeah. So on the front, is this the front? Yes. <laughs> uh, so on the front, I'm going to have this nice edge, and on the back, this is still really nice adds adds interest. You know, it's almost like she fabric. So I really like it. And so now, <clears throat> it um, it's what's the word? It folds or closes totally comfortably um, because we've left this larger gap. So this is a little bit, it can move a little bit, um, but honestly it really doesn't. So I'm very happy about that. Now, I don't like it sticking out that much. So let's try to tear it this way mm -hmm. yeah so we will just have a little bit of this frayed frayed edge on the top and the bottom a little bit more Let me cut this. Okay, so off camera I took it to my sewing machine and not sure if you guys can see but I stitched around um, around 
well both covers and I really like how it looks I think I'm going to to trim those threads <clears throat> and we will see what we want to do next about this cover okay so I think a little bit of gold is is needed here <laughs> so let's take and uh, this is my gold paste which I use one from a Polish brand however any gold paste any gold wax any gold gilding wax any gold um, uh, texture paste will do the same so just just search on Amazon or in your craft store for for gilding wax or gilding paste and any any will do really okay and inside inside I think so let's put it like that so it has a moment to dry inside I think I will uh, ink with vintage photo okay. oh actually everything is pretty much inked because I inked them before that's okay let's just make sure we have all the white Pots covered up and inked up. Mm -hmm. I love it. <clears throat> so, about the front cover now. I am going to want to make a closure, an eyelet closure, front and back, I believe, and add some ribbon or something to close this journal. But I think this is uh, something that we can do last. So let me just grab my ephemera or label book. And let's see if we would perhaps want to add some label here so the person who who receives this journal is will be able to to add a little bit of something for themselves mm, I have a lot of these Tracy labels let's see if we we want one of these. I'm not sure. I'm not sure I have the right colors of those. And I also don't want to cover too much. However, this one. This one could actually work, right? I should have more of this green. <clears throat> All of the other ones are quite large so I also have where's my little try box <laughs> um, let's see here here's where I keep those small labels small Tracy labels See, now I like this because it has a little bit of a warmer background. And these are a bit like more white of white. Okay, so I think I'm going to go with this one. And let's add a little bit of inking mm -hmm. and I'm 
just going to glue it straight to the cover using this naughty glue <laughs> that has been giving me such a hard time today. Good. Mm, I really like it. Really like it. Okay. And for the inside cover, now do I want to add a pocket? Kind of still, I want to remember that I am going to, that I am going to add an eyelid. So I think I would like a pocket, maybe even front and back, but I'm going to make them out of vellum, I think, because vellum is transparent, so I will st still see the collaged background here. But yeah, but it's going to be a pocket. So let me take a piece of vellum. If I have, do I have any vellum here? Oh, I do actually. Yeah, I think this will be enough. So let's see. Um, so I would like my pocket to be perhaps like this and then it's going to be safe to have it this wide, I believe. <clears throat> so I think this is going to be our first episode of this little mini series we are going to make so this is about eight let's make the second one uh, we are going to make the cover i'm going to off camera make four more of these <laughs> and uh, then okay Then I'm going to come back for a second episode. We will choose papers and we will um, isn't it a bit crooked? I think it is completely crooked. <laughs> Something went wrong here. Okay, let's fix it. Yeah. Uh, yes, and then I will come back for the second part and we will make the inside. So we will choose the pages, add them, bind them to the journal and decorate them. And so this will be either one or two videos, this, this page decorating part. Right, so what I like to do is I'm going to take my lace, lacy edge punch and I'm going to punch the top of the pockets. To add them a little bit, a little bit of decoration. And do the same thing with the second one. Awesome. I think I'm going to also round the corners, the bottom corners. So you see we have this nice shape of the pocket, which I really like. Mm -hmm. And inking, of course, 
because um, I love inking on vellum, especially when I make it in pockets or something like that, because it really makes it stand out from the background, from the busy background. You can see that actually there is something there. And yeah. Then to glue those down or to attach them to, to here, I'm going to use double-sided tape. Let's see this one perhaps. And yeah, I love using double-sided tape for vellum because um, it doesn't curl it. It doesn't make it curl like where the glue would. And it also is pretty much invisible on on a collage background. Like you can, you know, you can barely see it on on them. Vellum can be a bit tricky to glue down. I've tried it so many times before with glue stick, doesn't hold, at least the one I'm using. Um, or like like I said, with wet glue, but it curls it up immediately. And it was such a pain because I really love vellum, you know. So when I discovered that you can actually do it with double-sided tape and it works so well, I was so happy. <laughs> so happy. Okay, so this one is going to go here. See, there's nothing. You cannot see it. <laughs> I love it. Okay, and then this one. So cute, so cute. We are going to add some little ephemera pieces in the episode where we decorate them. But I am just thinking, uh, I think I need a little bit more texture on those covers. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to do a similar thing to what I did in a recent... Um, use up book pages video where we just made little clusters with some lace scraps and some ribbons or some sari silk something something like that now uh, do I actually have any lace here let me uh -huh. let me grab some yeah, so I'm going to take a piece like this. Mm -hmm. uh, I am going to take something else. How about a piece of this gold? Like that. And then I'm thinking, do I have any sorry silk that will actually match this fairy? Well, let's see. This piece. Okay. I'm going to cut it here and here. And... Maybe add it like that, something like this, yeah, so this one I'm going to staple because I like the look of staples, but I am also going to take a button and 
sew it sew it here so I would like some something small and neutral maybe like this yes I love it so let me grab my needle which I have here and a little bit of string so this is you know the quickest method I know of adding so many new textures to your project because we are adding lace material fabric we are adding uh, a staple we are adding a button we are adding twine this is this is so fun you guys and then i'm just going to glue it on on the page okay what am i doing here okay so i actually want to start from the top so that my string is oops this is probably a is it a too big of a ribbon of a needle i mean we will see yeah it might be i don't know where my smaller one is though okay will i be able to pull it now uh, or do I have to pull it back? Okay, it worked, though it did require a little bit of strength. I need to find my smaller needle for the next one. Um, but I really just went from the top and then uh, from the bottom. Not sure if this is focusing. And now I have those two. I'm just going to make a knot. So... Yes, and uh, and a second one just to hold it in place where it is. Awesome. Now I am going to cut off these. I don't need them this long for sure. I just need a little bit. And voila. Here is our little cluster, which is going to decorate our front cover and I am going to again use wet glue to keep it here <laughs> So let's see what we've got. Oops. <laughs> so we have our front cover and I think it looks super cute. I really did feel like it was missing something, but now, now I love it. <laughs> uh, we have the back cover, which is just so cute. So cute. And then we open this up. And this is the space where we are going to bind the signature. And then we have two pockets where we will put some journal cards or tags or little ephemera pieces. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, this first part of uh, this new, well, of this mini series. This is going to be like one or two more episodes. Uh, so yeah in the next one we are going to be choosing pages to add to this and i will also show you the rest of those because i am going to make like i said five in total so i'm going to uh, make them off camera and we are going to get to decorating uh, so yeah thank you so much for crafting with me today i hope you had fun and i will speak to you guys very very soon in the next one bye